So here's the big question. How do you sell heavy duty parts in a digital world? That's the question. And this is the place where you're going to find the answers. My name is Jamie Irvin, and we are live in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to another live stream. Today is Thursday, uh, October the 28th. Can you believe it? October the 28th already. Today we're going to be talking about your, your website, but before we get into that, with all of our live streams, we would love to have you to participate. So if you'd like to uh, make a comment or ask a question, please do so, and I'll make every effort to bring you into the live stream and make you part of today's broadcast. Also. Just wanted to mention that our live stream is sponsored by the Heavy Duty Parts Report, our weekly podcast where we interview heavy duty parts specialists and industry experts. And we talk about how to lower total cost of operation and the cost per mile for commercial fleets. We get into parts, tools, and technology. It's a great show. Go over and check it out at heavydutypartsreport.com. You can follow for free. I don't know if you can hear that, but my little dog is uh, barking at the door. So I apologize for that. We are live right now and there's nothing I can do about it. So that's part of being on a live broadcast. So this is the show where we're always talking about how to sell heavy duty parts in a digital world. And today we're, you know, over the last few weeks, we've been talking about your website's homepage. Today, we're going to focus on the problem that you solve. And this is something where I think a lot of companies, they skip over this, especially the parts distribution companies. They don't really even address it on their homepage. And unfortunately, that is, is a mistake. So I'm just going to drop out the, um, the banners here for a minute, and I'm going to share my screen. And I want to uh, show you the, the website that we've been building. So, so here it is, and we're just going to expand here a little bit so that it's nice on the screen. So in previous live streams, we've talked about your navigation bar in the top menu. We've talked about the hero section and what is really supposed to be there. And last week, we talked about the product category section of where we would want to put that on the website and so we've been building this website one step at a time together and now we've got all these sections correct but what comes next what comes after the category section well let's take a look at what we often see in a lot of of parts websites so i took took this screenshot from a company that is up here in canada and you know they've got this section where you can get access to flyers and they've got some featured products and they've got a literature download and there's nothing wrong with having those uh sections on your home page but what what i see is after the category section it's either the footer and the page is done or there's something like this and then it's the footer and the page is done and this is a huge missed opportunity. And so what I what I want to talk about is what is not on most heavy duty parts companies websites, which is information that would help the person who is there maybe for the first time to understand why they should be doing business with this parts distribution company as opposed to doing business with someone else. And instead of talking about yourself, the information that you should be sharing is the problems that you solve for your specific customer and how that impacts them. So you need to be able to talk about the problems in a way that is concise and that will help the person to very quickly see, okay, I know what they do. I know what I get out of doing business with them. I see the product categories that they've got, but what problems are they solving specifically that would make me want to do business with this company over someone else? So let's take a look here at what I've built for the next section. So you see that I've stripped out all of those um, call to actions for literature and, and feature products and, and downloadable content. And, and I've added a new section underneath the product category section. So let's take a look at that section in more detail. So first thing you'll notice is that 
<coughs> excuse me, is that the individual picture here is of a ideal customer. So it is a class eight truck with a driver. Now you might, if you're really quick, you might've noticed that I also duplicated that picture. You see that person is also embedded in the hero section. So now we're getting a bit of continuity about the kinds of customers that we're looking to attract to this site. And we're showing people that nice pictures that reflect who the customer is. See, this isn't pictures of our stores. It's not pictures of us. It's pictures of our customers. So let's go down here again to this section. Now I've added some text here. And I built this in a very specific way. This is the this is the problems that our company ABC Parts solves, right? So again, we don't start off talking about ourselves. We talk about the customer. So it's a, we're we're having a conversation with the customer, and we're saying you've got a job to do, and you can't afford to have your truck or trailer down because you're waiting on parts. Okay, let's stop there for a minute. Why is sharing that kind of information in that way a good idea? Well, one, again, we're not talking about ourselves. We're talking about the customer. So now the customer is more likely to be engaged with that information. Two, we're demonstrating that we understand the challenges facing our customer. What does that do for us? Well, what that does for us is that actually raises our status in the minds of the customer. Because instead of us talking about ourselves, we're talking about the customer, we're showing that we understand their situation. And therefore, because we understand their situation, the customer then is more likely to think in their head, hey, they really get me. They really understand me. This is for me. Their solutions must be good. As opposed to using a lot of invisible marketing words that talks all about ourselves and never gets around to what the customer gets out of doing business with us or, or how um, they benefit from doing business with us. So this is a very important part of the homepage and it is consistently skipped by most heavy duty parts companies. And I think that's a big mistake. So another component that we put in here is we we kind of expand on our understanding of their problems by then saying something along the lines of you shouldn't have to now you shouldn't have to are is it's like four magical words it 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 expresses empathy it demonstrates that we understand their situation and depending on what we list underneath is going to elicit emotion from the customer so remember, customers aren't here to buy products. They're here to buy solutions and their hearts are in it because they rely on their work trucks to make a living for themselves as an owner operator or commercial fleets need their trucks to have maximum uptime to, because they're working on razor sharp uh, uh, margins. And so this is a very emotional thing for them. And we want to tap into that. We want to express that emotion. And so you shouldn't have to are just, it's just a beautiful way of encapsulating something that would, you know, express that feeling that we're trying to, to get from the customer. And now what we're putting is we're putting some items that are common challenges that those customers will have dealing with other parts companies. Now, this is how we're kind of differentiating ourselves from our competition. So in this example, what I put here is you shouldn't have to wait for an hour on the phone to order parts. You shouldn't have to call to find out when your parts will be delivered. You shouldn't have to chase core credits or returns. So here we're, we're, we're communicating with the customer that these are things that do happen with other parts companies, but they don't happen with us. We've made sure of that. So you see how instead of us starting off the conversation, talking all about us, we've started off this webpage in the hero section, talking about the customer. We've shown them what products we have. We've talked a little bit about the solution. Now we're demonstrating to them that we get it. We get what that customer needs to be successful. And we understand that these are the things that are frustrating about dealing with other parts companies. And they're not going to have those frustrations when they work 
with us. You see why this is such a golden opportunity that is missed by so many parts companies when they don't include this information, especially on their homepage. And then we end it. And this is almost the first time we're kind of talking about our company. We say ABC parts makes getting your parts easy. So it's a positive statement saying, look, you don't have to worry about these things. We're going to make it easy for you. So this little section on your site, you know, it, it's a, it's just a utilizing the real estate on your homepage more effectively. You can see that we're building a very, very good looking website here. It's visually strong. It's got all of this important information, and this is really going to move the needle on how long people are on your homepage, how quickly they bounce off of it, and whether or not, as they're very quickly assessing whether or not you are the option for them, you're giving them the information they need. So up until now, if you notice, there's very little information on this website about the actual company. And it is time now to talk about how ABC Parts Company provides specific solutions for this kind of customer. And that is what we're going to talk about at our next live stream where we talk about websites, which will be in two weeks. So in two weeks, we are going to talk about introducing your company as the solution. That's what comes next on this homepage. Now, why is it in two weeks and not in a week? Well, let's talk about that for a minute. So I'm just going to uh, stop sharing my screen and let's uh, bring back some of our uh, our branding here and make our video look really good. All right. Not that you didn't know that you were watching my live stream, but okay. So next week, we are going to be in Las Vegas at the Apex show. And so next week, we are going to have a live stream from the apex show so tune in for that same time as usual but it's going to be a special live stream from apex now the only thing that would stop that from happening is perhaps through uh travel restrictions i i have everything planned to get my covid tests and to get on the plane and get down there and get home i've got it all mapped out but these are dynamic times so that could result in us uh for some reason not making it to the show but right now i've got my flight booked i'm ready to go so i will see you live from las vegas at the apex show next week tune in for that now going back to your to your website if you are looking for some help with your digital marketing if you're looking to work with someone who would be able to help you to get this right, get your website right, get your communication strategy right, your promotional strategy, your digital marketing, working with your salespeople. That's what I do as a consultant. So if you'd like some help, visit heavydutypartsreport.com slash consulting, learn more about the consulting services that we offer and the problems that we solve for heavy duty parts companies. You'll find all the information there at heavydutypartsreport.com slash consulting. Thank you so much for tuning in today's live stream. I apologize if you could hear the dog barking in the background. Uh, that's the one thing about live. You can't stop and, and make adjustments. And I look forward to seeing you live from Las Vegas at the Apex Show next week. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.